Hey guys, good morning. Today is, uh, I kind of forgot what day it was. I'm a little tired this morning, but today we're going on a, a little road trip up north to Davis, California. And that's where Emily's family lives. Emily's dad has a restaurant and they sell kebabs and pretty much he needs our help so we're gonna go down there and help him for a bit so you guys are gonna be able to see us working in a restaurant and getting our hands dirty we're going in the car watch Driving for like an hour and all of a sudden my car started smoking it's it's only a 2002 Passat Volkswagen and all, I, I swear all of a sudden it started smoking and then uh, coolant was leaking all over my foot all over Emily's foot we have the dog and the cat in the car it was just it was just a mess it was just a mess so now we're just waiting for somebody to go pick us up um, now possibly we won't have a car so We'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll update you guys here in a minute. Right, guys, so we've managed to find somebody to help us. Kevin. <laughs> no, Kevin, we want to thank you so much for helping us. This is, this, so yeah, so we're gonna get in this Nissan 350Z. We're gonna go home. We're gonna pack the dog and the cat and all of us in there. So uh, God bless you. So the car is messed up. We're trying to fix it. Uh, it's not looking too good, but you gotta work with what you got. going. Emily, we got it going. Yeah, well, it's The trip that we do take to Northern California, it might be hot, but we'll be able to get there safe and maybe when we get there, we'll get something new. So I'm glad we were able to fix this and, you know, we'll see what happens. It's not over yet. I don't even know if it's fixed yet, so we'll see. Today is Wednesday, the 21st of October. We had a little change of plans. We're gonna end up going to Northern California tomorrow. And so today we have time to clean up the garage mm -hmm. once again. Yeah. Don't want it to be messy when you come back. Don't want it to be messy. We also have more shipping people. for all those people saying that we buy all of our sh shipping supplies at Target. No, no, we just had a little hiccup that day. This so, didn't come in like when we thought it was. We had to get them out, so that's why. But we already have that shipment coming, and we'll be more on top of paying attention to when they're actually going to get here, so we don't have that little bit of overlap. Anyway, you guys were worried about it. So, what are you doing? I'm just putting stuff away that are... What is that? What is that? Open it up. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're addicted. You know what? We need to get you opening up some packs on TikTok. Nobody wants to see that. Yeah, people want to see that more than they want to see me. <laughs> this ended up being 
me watching you clean up. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So what's it like? What's it like sending orders out? What's it like? It feels super weird because once once the package leaves our hands, it's kind of hard to remember. Like, like I don't remember exactly who it went to, but then when they get it and we see it on social media, it's really exciting because it might have taken like a few days and then we see and we're like, oh my gosh, I remember packing that up and like they're enjoying it, so. So that's, you're saying it, really you like it when people mention us when they get yeah, there? Yeah, it's rewarding to see it later on. Like once you send it out, it's hard to know when it got to them, if they liked it, so unless they like post it on Instagram or TikTok or whatever and do it on social media, then it's really exciting because we get tagged in it and then we get to see you guys opening it up, which is actually really exciting for us. So yeah, that's probably my favorite part. I agree. So. We ordered some stuff for the mystery boxes. Legit stuff. <laughs> Hope you guys like it. Let's go. Alright, so today is a special day. We're gonna be packing up some small mystery boxes. These are for the $25 mystery boxes. They end up being that big, they fold. A lot of them. We have some good news. The car is fixed. It was a minor fix. I'm, I'm glad I could do it. We sold red today. We sold sealed red and we sold sealed silver. Do you know how much we needed this? Look, our car broke down. This is the type of stuff that we deal with, but also this is the type of blessing that we deal with as well. Look, always do good, always be nice to people, always treat people the way you wanna be treated and good will come, okay? So I'm gonna pack this up. I'm gonna pack this up nice for you guys. I lied, I actually already did. So we put a lot of bubble wrap, that's silver. That's for my boy Raul. And then we have this red, uh, which is for a new customer of mine. Um, so hopefully he likes the way I package his stuff. So once again, good things are coming, even though our, our, our car broke down, it's okay. Only a little bump in the road. We're still a poker shop. We still have business to run. We still have a lot of you guys to entertain. So let's go ahead and box this up. And thank you. Yeah.